Hello, I would like to show you the simple traffic light controller using a simple sequence programming. Before starting, let me just show you the operations of this program on the lab view front panel. This is already a pre-developed or pre-designed program which I'll just click on the run button as shown over here. This traffic light will change color change is light states and every three seconds so you will start with the green on followed by the amber on and then quickly swiftly moving to the red on and then the program will just stop there there are a total of uh, seven states as you can see on the text box here so there's uh, state one is all off followed by green on so we have introduced a delay on the green for three seconds then followed by the amber on okay then there's a delay of another three seconds for the delay on amber then followed by the red on with switching off the amber and finally there's another delay of three seconds so this is how the program will flow so if we switch over to the block diagram, we can see over here we have created a simple uh, sequence structure. Now how do we get our sequence structure if you recall? If I'm just going to right click on my mouse, go to the sequence palette, structure palette, I'm sorry, structure, then you will see this thing called the uh, sequence, right? <clears throat> sequence structure over here. Now, so uh, basically, you can see that we have created the sequence and we have created also a three color LED, namely the red, the green, and the amber. So there are a total of uh, seven frames, starting from frame number zero, frame one, frame two, and all the way until frame six, which is the last frame. So remember in earlier, the sequence structure, the program, the lab view code has to finish execution from frame 0 all the way until frame 7. Only then will the program terminate. So in the first sequence, we have the all of <coughs> sequence or the frame. We have uh, uh, wired a force constant to the three LEDs, right? The red, the green and the amber. So in the first instance, we switched off the LED right so let me show you the next frame frame 1 now in the second frame we switch on the green LED right now notice what is this object here this is called a local variable a local variable is an object that is an so-called a replicate of the front panel object so in this case we have three uh, LEDs on the front panel so in order to create a local variable that is quite simple, you select the LED object, right click on your mouse, click create local variable, for example, like this, all right? So let me just remove it first and I'll show you going back to the, sec the frame number one, which is the green on, okay? So on the green on state, I've put a constant true to turn on the green LED. It's quite simple. Let's go on to see the next second frame, <clears throat> frame number two, which is this frame called delay on green. In this delay on green, we have introduced again the wait millisecond delay in which we, we put in a constant of 3000. 3000 means 3000 millisecond, which means it's three seconds delay. Right. If you don't have this delay state, uh, then it, the LED, the transition of the LED colors will be too fast for our human eye to be able to uh, detect. Okay, so we've introduced a delay. So this is the delay on green. <coughs> so this in this frame, the program will delay for three second interval. Then we will proceed to the next frame, frame number three. Now in this uh, particular frame, we are now going to switch off the green, right? And we are going to turn on or enable the amber light. <coughs> so you notice that I've created again 
uh, another uh, local variable green local variable as well as an, another local variable for the amber so I've put in the appropriate uh, boolean constant so one for the green is off and the amber is green which is on true then we will proceed to the next one which is delay on amber so again over here we have to uh, introduce a timer delay of three seconds okay just to hold the light on the screen for us human to to observe now i'm going on to the last two more okay which is the frame here my frame number five <coughs> which is the amber off and the red on so likewise we will do the same uh, we will still create the local variable and we'll put in the appropriate boolean constants to turn on or off the lights accordingly so in this case your amber is off <coughs> And the rate is turned on and finally we move on to the next frame which is the last uh, frame where we delay on rate so again we can uh, also manipulate this weight millisecond if you want the LED, the traffic light to switch faster we can simply reduce the wait time here instead of uh, three sec uh, three seconds we can always change it to something uh, maybe like a one second interval so it'll be faster so this will be the last frame whereby the program will come to this point the lab view program will come to this point and then you will, will stop here okay i'll pause my recording now thanks for watching